All right, this vocabulary is not very important. Um, I'm not sure if on the test it's going to ask for these specific things, but uh, in any case, you should be able to tell which, which is which, because one is asking for area, the other is asking for height. Uh, what is important, though, is that you understand how many faces or surface areas or surfaces there are uh, to this pyramid. So <clears throat> now the nice thing about the pyramids that we're going to be working with uh, in this seventh grade is that each of these lateral surface areas, meaning the triangles for the pyramid, are usually going to be the same. Uh, if it's not, then it'll give us a different height of the triangle and we'll have to figure out uh, the areas separately, okay? Uh, in any case, uh, since we can see that for this pyramid, there is the bottom surface, and then there's, since it's a rectangular pyramid, there has to be four other surfaces for this, okay? Uh, if it was a triangle, then how many if it was a triangular pyramid, how many triangles would there be that would be the lateral surface areas? Now, since it would be a triangle, as you can see, uh, since it's a pyramid, you can see that there would be three of the lateral faces and then one on the bottom, so that there's four triangles. Just remember that that base is not always going to be the same triangle as the other ones. Uh, but in this case, this is a rectangular pyramid, so there's going to be four lateral faces or four triangular surfaces that make the pyramid up. So again, since this is pointing to a triangle and not the height, that would have to be an area. And since this one is pointing to this line, that would be a height, okay? Areas two-dimensional, while height is one. All right, let's go ahead and draw a net, and in some places they're going to call this a uh, flat pattern for this square pyramid, okay? So since it says that it's a square pyramid, let's first draw our square. And uh, you can make it four by four, three by three, five by five, it doesn't matter. But in any case, uh, this one, we're going to make a three by three. That way we know how much space we have. Here, okay, now since it is a square pyramid, start with the square. If it was a triangular pyramid, we'd start with a triangle, but uh, this is a square pyramid, okay? And then we gotta figure out the height of each of these sides. Now we're not going to measure this one, we're just going to make one up, okay? So it's three. So we've got to go one and a half to the center of this. And let's say that it was maybe a little bit taller. It's four units tall, okay? So I just connect that point to each of the corners. Now that's four, so i got to do the same thing on this other one. That's halfway, one, two, three, four. And then I just connect the sides accordingly. I'm just going to repeat this for each of the other two sides as well. All right, so there we go. We can see each of these triangles is four units tall, and it's on a square, so that would be the net of a square pyramid. So if I wanted to create a square pyramid from paper, I would draw this, cut it out, and then you can see here the base is where I would make the folds, and it would come together to make a square pyramid. All right, so this is the area the formula for the area of a triangular prism. Now it's using all of these different uh, variables and unknowns. You've got the perimeter times the length, uh, but we're not really going to go over it like that, okay? Let's look at it a different way. All right, so again, we're finding the surface area of this. This would be a triangular pyramid. So we gotta look and see how many faces there are first. All right, so we can see that there's this bottom face. Then it's got three lateral faces here, okay? Now, I'm not too good at drawing, but uh, let's 
let's just assume that these three lateral faces are all the same triangle, okay? Because that's usually the way it's going to be on your homework. Uh, but this bottom triangle is going to be a little bit different, all right? So let's look. We have four sides, four areas, four surfaces, whatever you want to call it, okay? You got one, two, three, four. Now the total surface area is going to be the sum of these four, which means we're just going to add them all together once we find them. All right, so this may be something that you'll see on the homework. So it's going to have a dotted line down here like this. It's going to show a 90 degree angle. And it's going to give you a height, which uh, let's say is just, uh, I don't know, six. Okay? Six inches. And then it will tell you that this bottom, this base of that triangle is, um, I don't know, five, five inches. Okay? So with this, it's going to pretty much assume that uh, the other lengths are the same, meaning this is an equilateral triangle. And then uh, in addition to that, it's also going to give you a third one, which is going to be this height of the base triangle, okay? And then it'll show you a right angle there. And then it may have a line pointing to it. And let's say that this one is uh, eight inches, okay? All right, well, let's find the area first of this lateral faces. So, for example, I'll be finding the area of this face. It's also the area of this face. And then that back face as well, okay? That back surface. So let's look. It tells us that the height is 6 inches. And the base of the triangle is 5 inches. But it's a triangle, so we got to cut this in half. So we're going to divide it by 2. And what we end up with there is 15 square inches. Now remember, we can assume in this case that all of the triangles are the same because it only gave us one of the heights. Okay. So again, we would say that that's 5 inches there and that that back uh, length there is 5 inches also and that the height of each of these triangles is six inches. So in other words, I don't really need to calculate any further for these next two. We can just say that they're all five square inches, uh, 15 square inches. All right, so I just have one more surface to figure out the area of. And uh, of course, that's the base triangle here. So we gotta look at the values that it gave us. It says that the height is 8 inches, and we know that this base is going to be 5 inches. It's all multiplied, but a triangle is half a parallelogram, so we got to divide by 2, and what we end up with is 20 square inches. Well, the final thing I need from all of this is to figure out the sum, so I'm going to take all of these and add them together, okay? So you got 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 20. That gives us 65 inches squared. Done. So this is the reason why we can assume that all of the lateral faces or the triangles that make up the pyramid are all the same. Meaning, uh, and of course, the lateral faces are not the base. In a triangular pyramid, that base triangle may be different, okay? But uh, in this case, these are regular pyramids, which means that all of these base side lengths are the same. So if that's the case, all of these lateral faces have to be the same as well. Okay? Again, this is all formula stuff. It's not really something you need to worry about. Okay, here's an example with a... This would be a square pyramid because we know that this base is a square how? because all of those side lengths are the same. Okay? It tells us you got four inches there and four inches there. So this is definitely a square. All right, so let's go ahead and figure this out. 
it's the area and so how many surfaces do we have well you're going to have four triangles and then the base value as well okay so we need to figure out all four of these then again we're just going to add the sum of them uh, once we're done so let's look at the triangles first let's look at one of these triangles this gives us this one okay now since this is a regular pyramid meaning that all of those lateral faces, all of those triangles are the same. We don't need to calculate the surface area of, of each one. Uh, once we do one of them, we have all four. And I'll show you that in just a moment, okay? So the height of this is 9 inches multiplied by the 4-inch base value. is a triangle, so we must divide by 2. And what we end up with is 18 square inches. So again, there's four lateral faces, so that means that these next three are also 18 inches squared. So now that I have those four values, I'm just missing one, but which face is it? Oh, that's right, it's going to be this base face or this base surface. And so we need to calculate its area. It's a square, and we can see that one length is four, so it's 4 times 4, which is going to give us 16 square inches. So one thing you may want to look at here is to consider why is it that the base value is less than these other four? Is that possible? Is that going to happen all the time? Or should these ones be bigger? Let's look at the sum of these. Let's just go ahead and add them all together. So you've got uh, 18 plus 18 plus 18 plus 18 plus 16, and that is 88 square inches. All right, so this next example is uh, one that's in your book. Go ahead and give that a shot and see if you can figure out the surface area of this triangular pyramid. Again, you're going to want to think... How many surfaces do you need to find the area of? Find that area of each one and then add them all together. All right, here's A and B. Go ahead and give these a shot, and then we'll go over these two. All right, for A, it tells us that this is a square pyramid. So for some of you, it may be easier just to draw this, okay? So there's our square, which is the base, and this connects to each of the sides. Let's go ahead and fix that up. All right, so there's our square pyramid. It tells us that the base length is 5 centimeters. And that it also has a slant height of 8 centimeters. Now, as it turns out, this is all the information that we need uh, because it's a square pyramid, okay? So all the lateral faces have the same area, and then the base area we can find simply because it is a square so let's go ahead and list how many surfaces do we have? Well, we've got these five surfaces, and four of them are exactly the same. Because there's those four triangles. Let's go ahead and add those all together. Uh, but let's find the surface area of one first, okay? You've got a slant height of eight, so the height of one of the triangles is eight, multiplied by its base height, which is five. We just have to divide by two because it's a triangle and it gives us 20 centimeters squared. So that means that these other four are also 20 centimeters squared. And finally we come to our base which is simply a 5 by 5 squared. So that gives us 25 centimeters squared. Now let's just add all these together, 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 25, 
and we get a hundred and five centimeters squared. Again, with your labeling, don't forget to square that because area is two dimensional. All right, here's an equilateral triangular pyramid, meaning that base triangle has the same lengths all the way around. So let's find the area of each face, of each surface, and how many surfaces are there? Well, you've got the three lateral triangles and then the base triangle. So that's four surface areas. All right, let's find the surface area of one of these lateral faces. Okay, the height of that triangle is 15 meters multiplied by its base, which is 12 meters. And then we just divide that by 2. And what do we get? It looks like it's going to be about 90 meters squared. So that means that these other two are also 90 square meters. All right, then finally we have this base triangle. And we can see that it has a triangle height of 12, I'm sorry, 10.4 meters. The base is 12 meters. Then, of course, it's a triangle, so we must divide this by 2. All right. And what does that give us? Yeah, that'll give us 62.4 square meters. Okay, now I'm going to go and label all these other ones. I didn't have enough space uh, before, so let's go and label those. Final thing we need to do is just add all these together. And so we have 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 62.4, and that gives us 332.4 square meters. And that's our answer. All right, here's another example from the book. And it's going to tell us that this is a square pyramid, okay? So since that's the case, again, I'm going to go ahead and draw it. Uh, maybe you don't need the drawing, though, okay? It really doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and, and then we'll clean it up a little bit. Now we'll just label each part as it's given to us. So the slant height is 4.5, and, and the base is 2. All right, so it tells us the slant height and also the base length. And how many surfaces do we have here? Well, we've got five of them. All right. Four, five. And then whatever we find out all these surfaces, the area of these surfaces, we're going to add them together, okay? Again, I, I like to start with the triangles, but you may start with the base if you choose. Uh, let's start with the triangle though. So it gave us four and a half times the base, which is two, but then we must divide it by two because it's a triangle, and that gives us four and a half. So the other three triangles also have this area of four and a half square inches. Finally, let's figure out the area of the base, which has which is a 2 by 2 square, which means it's 4 square inches. Now we just need to add all these together. And that will give us 22 square inches. All right, give these other three a shot, see how you do, and uh, I'll give you the answers here in just a couple seconds. All right, there's your answers. Hope you did pretty well. If you did, then you should be pretty well ready for the homework. If not, make sure you come to Math Lab and get some help. Or ask a neighbor, ask a friend, ask your parents, uh, whatever you need. Make sure you get the help uh, so that uh, you're prepared for the test.